Hey guys, I'm Mr. Harris here. Today we'll be, we're going to be doing a how-to on Luffy from One Piece. Alright, so let's start off with my artist pencils. I am using B and H for my artist pencils. And for my colored pencils, I am using black for his hair, uh, a sort of peach for his skin, a dark maroon for his uh, shirt, and a yellow for his hat. I can find a dark, if you can find a dark yellow, then that will work as well. But this is the yellow I'm using. I'm also having a razor here. And now, let's start off. We're going to be using the H first. And we're just going to make uh, a circle. And we're going to basically be doing his face area. We're just going to be doing his face. Alright. Make a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be construction shape. Next, after you did that, you're going to make a line that goes on the underside of the circle. And then um, it's going to be sort of a three quarters uh, view. So what you want to do here is you just want to you just want to be uh, mindful of that. We're going to start going down on this edge of the circle until we get to the line. So like I was saying, we're going to come down from this edge of the circle, get down to this line, and then start curving to this point, and then do the same on, on the other side. Come down to the line. And you're going to want Alright, now that, we, that will make some more lines. So right around here, you want to get slightly curved line for the eyes. Then slightly curved line going down like that. It's just going to show us where the eyes are going to be and where the mouth and the nose are going to be. So right here, above the line, I'm going to make a big... Two big lines like that, and then the same on the other side. Only these are going to be a little uh, higher, or at least this one's going to be a little higher. We want to make two more lines just like that on both sides, and then in here, right above the line, on to more towards the right side, we're going to add a little oval over here, more towards the left side, and add a little oval. Alright, now that we made the two pupils, we can color them in. We'll color them in. One eye. Two eye. Now that we did that, we can go down onto the nose. The nose is going to be right on this line right here. Start where these two lines intersect and go down. Curve around this right eye come back to this line and go a little bit past it then make a little dash for his nostril and then thicken this line up right here now with that we should make the scar right under his right eye or his left eye our right eye. So just make another curved line that goes to the edge of the face and then two vertical lines there's a the scar now we can do that on the mouth I'm just going to start right around here. This one's going to dip a little bit. Get over here. And then have it rounded off. Come back down here. It's going to end right around this vertical line right there. And then just close it off right there. Just close it off. There's the mouth. Inside we're going to add on this top part, right around this line right here, this on the original lines that we made, um, we can just go straight or follow the line until we get to the end, and then curve upwards a little. And on the bottom here, do the same, and, but instead, stop a little short, add a line right here for his tongue, and then another line that's going off the tongue, the tongue that'll go onto the bottom part. To make these teeth. There you go. That's the, that's the basic part of it. Next, uh, we'll make his ear right here. This is fast. Come up a little bit. 
So we're going to the left. Curve it so it's going downwards and to the right. And then curve upwards. It's going to be a pretty big ear. Next thing we're going to do is just add some detail into the ear. Uh, we can start with the hair so we'll go into the hair and then build the hat around it so now that we so right where this vertical line is we're gonna make start making the strands it parts right in the middle so that's why we're gonna use that All right let's make some nice short lines or short strands here that's gonna go mostly they're usually gonna go past this eyebrow Once we get to this point, we can start going out to the side of his face. And right around this scar, we're going to start making his hair on the side of his face. So, just see, just look at the strands I'm making and follow those. Cause Let's keep going. I'm using a reference picture. I'll show you the picture right now. This is the picture I'm using. Great. This one's going to be a little longer and start to come in a little bit closer to the head. Keep making. This is going to be one small string right here. And it's going to be a bigger one. Right here. And then this last one is going to just sort of spread out. back and then and now that we finish that last like random one like that we just go around until we get to the other side Start to make the hair going. Start make. Start making the hair go to the left. So I'm gonna be a couple of strings right here. Second one. This goes like that. Now that we finished the hair. Oh wait, and a little bit. Or we have to finish this rest here. So over here. Let's keep making the strands, but going to the left now. This one's gonna be good. Come out a little bit, curve downwards, and then there you go. And then the rest are just gonna uh, finish off. There we go. There's his, um, there's his hair. So now we're just gonna make the hat around his hair. You want to just hit, make sure that the hat hits some main parts, like this one strand here. This one that's outspurting, and then that's what you on the side. Then just round it off and end it on the ear. Now that we did that, we'll add some like small details onto the hat. Um, but the only details he got are some small lines. So uh, there's going to be two different like sets of lines. Some are going to be in the middle, as you can see here, and some of them are going to be like on the edge to show that it's round and that's crimping. So there's just a lot of these around here. Some of them are have three, some of them have two, and like one is shorter than the other, so, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. go. Let's go around making these small lines on the edge, and these lines in the middle as well.
And there you go. That's the hat. Now that we finish that, let's make a small ear right there. A small half circle. That will be his ear on that side. Now that we did that, um, I'm going to start going around this in a deeper um, shade of pencil or a different pencil. And then I'm going to erase the rest so that um, the construction shapes aren't as visible. So you can do that right now. I'll cut to when um, all those are done. Alright guys, I just came back from um, erasing the construction lines and now we can start doing his neck. So, right at the edge of this ear, we're going to start going down. So, we'll give um, this good. We're going to make another one. Until they're both at the same level. Or height, whatever. We're going to curve downwards. On both sides. You know, and now the picture gets cut off, so I really can't do anything there. And now we're going to make his uh, shoulders. Make a little bump right here. And then start going downwards. And then the same one here. Make it a little smaller. So it looks like he curved a little bit. And go down. Next, for the last part, just make a little line like that. And then that's pretty much it. This part was really simple. But I um, hope you guys liked it. I'm going to come back with a colored version right now. Hey guys, so now I'm back. And here is the finished product. Luffy from One Piece. Uh, look at it. You know, make sure you have all the colors. I, I had to, uh, I forgot to mention that I had to use a little bit of pink for his tongue. But that was pretty much it. Um, well, just look at it, you know, see if I, uh, get it, so you know where the colors are. I had a little bit of shading right there, and a little bit of shading in the ear. Um, but overall, it was a pretty simple piece, but it was still really fun to do. It was pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been on the rest of the artists. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more awesome artistic content. I'll be doing more speed draws and how to use some different anime later in the week, so look forward to that. And with that, I've been on the rest of the artists. I'm not.